Good day. Welcome back to my channel. Certain blogs. For today's blog, we have to know everything about math with me, Certain. So let's proceed. So what is arithmetic sequence? Today, we will discuss about arithmetic sequence. What is our objective or objectives? The objective of this topic is to you, the learner, to illustrate arithmetic sequence, determine the end term of a sequence. We call the main idea the end term motto. So what is an arithmetic sequence? So arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which the difference between any two consecutive terms is the same. So between the first and second term, we have consecutive differences were the same from first to second to second to third in between the terms they have the common difference so what do you call the common difference it is the constant difference between the terms so constant difference meaning to say the second term minus the first term, which is the result of the constant difference. From third minus the second term, the same as the second term minus the first term. So we call it the common terms or common difference, rather. So to find the end term of a series, of a sequence, of an arithmetic sequence, we have the formula. So A sub N, which is the nth term, or the number to find, equals A sub 1, which is the first term, plus the quantity of N minus 1, times D, which is the common difference. Again, A sub 1 is the first term. A sub N is the number of term to find. D is our common difference, and N is the number of terms. So, let's have an example. For number one, we have 21, 31, 41, and 51. To get the difference, so subtract A sub 2, which is the second term, from A sub 1, which is the first term. So, 31 minus 21 equals 10. The other is 41 minus 31 equals 10. 51 minus 41 equals 10. So the common difference between the terms, which is 10. Since our given has a constant common difference, it is an illustration of an arithmetic sequence. So meaning to say, if we have to get the common difference between the terms, so it is an arithmetic sequence. So we call it an arithmetic sequence. In the given example, it only stated four terms, but we can notice that it is an infinite sequence. So why it is an infinite one? Because we have the ellipsis sign or the three dots before or after, sorry, after 51. So let's try to get the 12th term. To get the 12th term, we may use the formula A sub N equals A sub 1, which is the first term, plus the quantity of N minus 1 times the common difference, which is D. So by substituting A sub N is equal to 12, which is the 12th term to find. Then A sub 1, which is the first term, which is 21 from the given example, then the common difference between 31 to 21, 41 to 31, and 51 to 41, which is 10. And the number of terms, which is 12. 
So we substitute it to the given formula. So we have a sub 12 equals 21, which is the first term, plus the number of terms, 12 minus 1 times the common difference, which is 10. Then perform 12 minus 1, which is 11, times 10, which is 110. So now the equation is a sub 12 is equal to 21 plus 110. So the 12th term is 131. By using our formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, which is the common difference. So let's have another example. So we have 21, 38, 55, and 72. So to get the difference or common difference, to satisfy that is an arithmetic sequence, so let's have to subtract second term from first term, 38 minus 21, we have 17, 55 minus 38. So the third term to the second term, which is 17, 72 minus 55, which is the fourth term to the third term, which is 17. So the common difference is 17. Since our given has a constant common difference, it is an illustration of an arithmetic sequence. In the given example, it only stated four terms. So again, it is an infinite by the ellipsis. So let's try to get the 10th term. Again, substitute to the given formula, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So a sub n not 10, which is the 10th term, we have 10. a sub 1, which is the first term, we have 21. Then the common difference from the sequence, we have 17. And the number of terms, we have 10. Then substitute, we have a sub 10 equals 21, which is the first term, plus the quantity of 10 minus 1, the number of terms minus 1, times the common difference, which is 17. Perform 10 minus 1, we have 9, times 17, we have 153. So now the equation here is a sub 10 equals 21 plus 153. So we have a sub 10 equals 174. Okay, let's try example number three. We have 4, 11, 18, 25. Find the 15th term. So first, we get the common difference, which is the value of D. So subtract 11, so 4. So we have 7. Subtract 18 to 11. So we have 7. Subtract 25 to 18. The answer is also 7. So our common difference is 7. The number to find or the number of terms to find is 15. So we have a sub n is 15. Then the first term, which is 4 from the given arithmetic sequence. Then the number of terms is 15. So subtract it to the given formula, a sub n, which is 15 equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times the common difference. So we have a sub 15 equals a sub 1, which is 4, plus the number of terms, which is 15, minus 1 times the common difference, which is 7. Okay. So a sub 15 equals 4. 15 minus 1 is 14. So 14 times 7. So a sub 15 equals 4. So 4 times 7 is 28. So we have 2. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 2. We have 9. So 4 plus 98. We have 102. So A sub 15 is equal to 
102. So our 15th term is 102. So that's all. See you on my next vlog. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe.